Okay, so um, Aquaba. Yeah. So I'm yeah. gonna lead by example. So what we're doing on the bus ride, we um, I know we did some meet and greet and tried to get to know each other on the plane ride over. And as we've been moving along the journey, you know, people have been gravitating towards other people and kind of getting to know them. But we each want to know something about each person on the journey. Because we know that a lot of times when we travel, we're at our freest time in life. Where, you know, we'll talk about our exes or spouses or the people who are getting on our nerves or that job that we want to leave. And sometimes when we're in our home environment, we're not that comfortable sharing. No judgment, we just want to hear what you want us to hear. One of the things that I do, I, I don't want to talk about my bio because I've, I've always been a busybody, so I wear many hats literally and figuratively. I love hats and I do a lot of things, but I'm passionate about giving back, that's one. I'm passionate about my family. I'm passionate about promoting people who are not getting mainstream attention. And I'm passionate about getting to know people because a lot of us, are often misunderstood and don't you just hate that when people just see you and start assuming that you're this you're that they haven't spent the time to get to know who you are they haven't listened to you to hear what you're passionate about and that's what we're doing one of the things that i do in washington dc i do a lot of retreats where i'm the facilitator and one of the retreats that has been very popular is teaching people how to tell their own story how to craft a bio how to write your own obituary, we're all gonna die. You know, and sometimes, we don't know what's written because we're there, but you know, I'm not being morbid, but you know, you want that your life story to be told through your eyes. And if you've studied business, you know about the Jahari window. Anybody knows about the Jahari window? No. How you see yourself, how others see you, the real you, and there's another window that I'm not remembering, but there are four windows. So what we are aiming to do now is as you come up, and I might call you randomly, we want each person to come up. I can ask a series of questions, but I want you to think about this as a bio. So if this were the last time I would be meeting, say, Brandon, AKA Jordan, <laughs> what is it that Brandon would absolutely want me to know about him, right? Right. When you're giving that bio, please also talk about what brought you to Ghana, what your experience has been so far, and how it relates to what your perception of Africa was prior to coming here for yourself. Because we know that all kinds of media are telling stories that are not necessarily true. Right. All right, so, are we ready? Yes. Do I have a volunteer? Sure, I'll start. Okay, we're gonna lead by example. So we have Bomani Tayimba, and I'm gonna give you some context though. I was dating this Ghanaian back in the day, and um, he's like, you know, you're such a Ghanaian. I can feel it. I'm like, okay, I know I'm from somewhere other than Jamaica. But every time I met a Ghanaian, I felt like we're cousins or some kind of relation. And he's like, you have to go to Ghana. And then I was hosting Kuji Chagalia in um, DC at Zanzibar. Must, must have been 2009 or 2010. 2009, 2009 right. Okay. And I was the cultural ambassador for the UNIA ACL. Okay. And um, Bomani and Russ Marvin were there, but their reputation had preceded them. So I was all excited, you know, I gotta meet Bomani. And then Bomani started talking about going to Ghana and his tours. And I said, I'm coming on your next tour. And so my first tour was 2011. But when I met Bomani, everything about him was genuine. His passion for Ghana was obvious. And I've never um, been disappointed being on a tour. This is my fourth time to Ghana all times with Africa for the Africans. So I know that some of you have seen the work that he's done. We want to put your hands together for all the, the, it's a misconception when they say women are the only ones who are super organized. This right here, some other thing. I mean, like, it's just, it, even for me, I'm meticulous about organization, but Mamani is like way ahead in terms of the time and effort that he puts into making sure you have all the information so you can feel safe before you come here. He's presented us with a book that's also a souvenir, but it actually tells you what you can expect and what to do. And most importantly, the staff on the ground here have our safety in mind. So please put your hands together for the staff, especially the driver. Wow. Who's taking her us uh, around the island. And I want you to put a hand clap together for uh, Brother Bomani Temba as he comes to the fore. 
Hold on, do you want me to ask you specific questions or you just want to talk? I want you to just talk. We can do well? Okay, we'll give the mic to Bomani. Greetings, family. Greetings. 